Whenever I visit a national park, I feel privileged to see the miracles of nature and of creation. The Yosemite Park has been disseminated with water. It's a gathering place of water. Like if all the water in the sky has flown into one spot, out of nowhere, promoting the gathering of life, of people and animals and plants. And the gathering of spirits as well. No temple made by hands can compare with the Yosemite, said John Muir, a Scot considered as the father of the Yosemite National Park, a valley seven miles long and up to one mile across, walled by near vertical 3,000 foot cliffs, and whose sides are streaked by cascading waterfalls. When I entered from the south, I faced a view made famous by the photographer Ansel Adams' picture Clearing Winter Storm, with El Capitan and Sentinel Rock struggling to free of clouds. Simply put, I was in one of the most dramatic pieces of geology to be found anywhere in the world and truly a unique place. Oddly, the Yosemite was born in the mid of a civil war in 1864, when President Lincoln signed a bill to set aside a large piece of Californian land for the benefit of humankind. But it was Muir to convince his friend Theodore Roosevelt to create the Yosemite National Park in 1890, the second after the Wyoming Yellowstone. The place to see some of the world's most famous rocks like Half Dome and El Capitan. as well as many of American tallest waterfalls, like the Yosemite, Vernon and Nevada Falls. While at ground level, the impressive Merced River meanders among grassy wildflower meadows where various animals secretively forage the surrounding woods. No wonder the 
this place attracts more than three and a half million visitors a year. To really appreciate Yosemite, one must climb and the Tough Point Trail is a two mile long moderate walk in order to enjoy dramatic views and guaranteed to answer the question, am I afraid of heights or not? It's also a good exercise before more strenuous adventures. Initially the trail is just another walk in the woods, but once in Tough Point, impressive views of the Northern Valley Wall open up including El Capitan and Yosemite Falls. I was fascinated by the fissures, immense vertical gashes in the valley wall caused, according to legend, by an epic battle between the monsters Mothra and Godzilla, slashing and raking their talons against the cliff side. Alright, so here today we're at uh, Taft Point in Yosemite Valley. We've got uh, maybe 40 foot high line set up and we're walking on it, playing on it, having a good time and uh, scaring the tourists. Even more fascinating was the incredible performance of this young American walking across the precipice of a rope suspended at 2,225 meters. Careful, I fall from here and I will lose sight of you before you reach the ground. At 2,425 feet, Yosemite Falls is the highest in North America and the fifth highest in the world. It actually consists of two falls separated by some churning rapids, the upper fall and the lower fall. spring they are absolutely magnificent and the main park attraction. I followed the steep two mile trail to Columbia Rock to get closer to the falls and to enjoy spectacular 180 degree views down to the valley. When I reached the middle cascade, I felt the steady breeze blowing from the lower fall, pushed along by the air, drawn down with the water. It was like a refreshing natural shower. I still can't believe that this flow dries up entirely by mid-August. 
Yeah. Exciting. Awesome. Grateful. <laughs>7 miles round trip, which climbs 580 meters, first reaches the Vernal Falls and then the top of the Nevada Falls. The trail has fabulous views. It is called Mist Trail because all visitors should either bring a raincoat or plan to get very wet. Indeed, it's impossible to hike to the top of the spring without taking some of the falls with you. The first part is a moderate ascent to two unforgettable waterfalls that combined fall more than 270 meters. Fortunately, there are railings protecting visitors from the edge and from the slippery steps. The falls are separated by the deceptively placid Emerald Pool. Although it would be obviously foolish to swim here so close to the lip, in the summer several people have died doing so. Indeed, more people die on the mist trail than in any other part of the park. It's amazing. Great. So Spectacular falls. Unbelievable hike. I'm exhausted. What a beautiful place it is up here. Gorgeous day, lovely bits of blue sky for us and wonderful spring weather. The waterfalls are magnificent. I don't think I've ever seen anything like these waterfalls. They're just superb. And with the snow melt happening, the volume of water coming over, it's, it's extremely fantastic. And right now, kind of wet and chilly. <laughs> Nevada Falls has almost a furious, frenzied look and reflects the true spirit of Yosemite. The water plunges over the brink of the precipice as if it was glad to escape into the open air. I could approach the very lip of this 180 meter high fall and enjoy some roaring close-ups. It 
it's up, 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 rocky, 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 but beautiful. <laughs> Fabulous, majestic, glorious, magical, the best. <laughs> Visitors entering Yosemite Valley are stunned by the majestic views and the magnificent granite architecture offered by the huge vertical grey cliffs of El Capitan and Half Dome. But how were these great cliffs formed? Indian legends tell of a woman and her husband who always argued, thus upsetting the local spirits. They finally changed them into stone to face each other forever across the valley. Certainly a more fascinating story than the geological explanation that the granite walls solidified over five miles underground and were then pushed up by dynamic forces. Valley visitors are also stunned by the historic, majestic hotel Awani. A real gem of the past that offers luxurious comfort to wealthy customers. The Tioga Road that crosses Yosemite southwest to northeast had just been reopened for the season and I could visit a more remote area of the park. Past the bouncing waterfalls of Cascade and Tamara Creeks, I reached the majestic sequoias of Merced Grove. Although not as impressive as those of Mariposa Grove, temporarily closed for maintenance, they are still very photogenic and very, very big. Unfortunately, in the past, many were cut and mistreated, like this tunnel tree that seems to raise two arms to the sky and pray to survive for a few centuries longer. My main objective, however, was to visit the Hetch Hetchy Valley. Despite John Muir's efforts for preservation, a huge dam completed here in 1923 created an eight-mile-long reservoir to provide water and power to San Francisco. At the end of this tunnel, I had a better view of what must have been a beautiful twin of Yosemite Valley. Then the Tulala Falls and the amazing Wapona Falls, or should I say Wapona Showers. And it is amazing if you try to get across that bridge, you're going to get really, really wet. Wet! If you've never taken a shower with your clothes on, come here and cross the bridges below the falls in the springtime and you will never have to wonder about that particular experience again. Here we go. Let's go.
Oh, no, me. Climbing to the 3,000 meter high Tayoga Pass runs through breathtaking high country scenery, including the Tayoga and Tenaya Lakes. Cathedral Peak. Olmsted Viewpoint. And Lambert Dome. So, my trip to the Yosemite was a true escape to natural beauties. I've seen splendid scenic vistas and panoramas. Glacier-carved canyons, leaping waterfalls, towering cliffs, rounded domes and massive monoliths. I've hiked to discover its grandeur and climbed to the top of high peaks overlooking fabulous valleys. I've seen and admired the forces that have formed a unique, beautiful and dramatic geology. I've got a sense of the courage and efforts spent by early pioneers to explore this wild, wonderful place. I've been captured by the spirit of Yosemite.